Are you looking for love again? Divorces are actually down as of 2020. So we're still waiting for the stats on this. But if you are like me, you have heard of couples splitting up more and more. So as statisticians tabulate all of the split ups over the past few years, according to Psychology Today, there is a concerning trend called gray divorce, where people over 50 are splitting up after decades together. The other age group seeing high rates of divorce, Gen X. Divorce.com says married couples between the age of 20 and 25 are 60 percent more likely to get a divorce. So we want to talk to people about how to get out there and to have hope that you can find love again. Tamson Fidel, anchor from our News Nation affiliate in New York, is with me this morning. So good to see you. I love your down to earth approach. I know we follow each other on social media and have fun commenting on each other's posts, but you've documented your own journey remarrying after divorce. So I want to know what you've learned that you're going to teach others about dating. Oh, yeah. Well, great to be with you this morning, by the way. And it's nice to, to have you here because we are on Instagram <laughs> all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I went through a really public divorce and it was never my intention to talk about it. But there I was. It was out there publicly. And the fact that it was like that, it actually helped me heal because I wound up discovering the power of community online and mm -hmm. offline. And um, so what did I learn now that I'm teaching other people? It's like, how much time do you have? You know, I learned uh, how to be confident, how to be enough how to know not only what I want in a partner, but also what I deserve. And I made plenty of mistakes, but I figure out if I'm helping one person along the way, then I'm definitely doing my job. I love that. And really, I think it is important to just be vulnerable and open nowadays because so many people, yeah. you know, they've taken off the facade, they've taken off the makeup, they're just giving you their real self. Uh, but I'm hearing more, more and more women who don't ever want to get married again after divorcing. Like they feel this sense of independence, I, and men too, so should those who are dating but looking for a spouse prepare themselves for that reality? You know, that was my reality. After my divorce, I was one of them. I was not against love, but I was definitely not looking to be married again. And I, I said it out loud. I viewed dating as fun. And something I would recommend to anybody putting themselves out there again, go out there to have a good time. And when I met my now husband, both of us were in that category. We were not setting out to get married. Um, but, you know, people say that they don't want to get married. And in some cases, I'm sure that they've not found the right person for them. So do you need to get married? No, but you do need to have a commitment if you're going to be dating somebody for a significant amount of time. So I wouldn't advise investing time, energy, or emotion in somebody that says they really do not have any interest in committing in any way. Yeah, and you should get all that out on the table early enough so that you don't get your heart entangled yes. with someone that isn't going to give you what you want. But uh, Dara K. Fulton from Brooklyn, New York, has a question for you. So let's watch how to build your confidence or trust the dating process when you've been badly hurt by your ex-husband. I guess this could go for a, a oh. man who's been hurt by his ex-wife too. So what's your response? Yeah, right about that. Look, uh, Dara, first I want you to focus on feeling worthy because no matter whose fault it is, it hits all of our confidence in a big way when you go through a breakup. And next, I think it's really important to reconnect with yourself. And I had to take a lot of, I took a lot of time to do that. But, you know, if you love to travel or you love to explore, you stop maybe doing it in a marriage or when you were in your relationship, start doing it again. Reconnect with the things that make you happy because those little things, those little steps, they build a lot of confidence. And, you know, I think the only way to do it, and I speak from experience with this, is to take it slow. Do not leap into a relationship if you are not ready for it. My dad is 83 years old. Adrian and my, my dad used to tell me all the time, it's better to be alone than lonely with someone. Ooh. And so I've always held that close to my heart. Yeah, good advice from daddy. Uh, we've got some more uh, yeah. questions from people who follow you on Instagram. Jerundia, I hope I'm saying the name right, says, tried dating apps, but they didn't work for me. Uh, what do you think about apps? And I think she's also asking, where do you meet people if you're not using them? Yeah, 100%. So dating apps, they're one way to meet people, but they are not the only way. And, it, you know, I think it's important to keep this in mind. Not all dating apps are the same. So you have to investigate which ones might work for you versus somebody else. I think you have to be open minded, keep conversation short. But in what goes to meeting people, I like to talk about how to meet people, which is tell everybody, tell friends, go out, do not com get committed to just one way of meeting people. And that means to go different places, go solo, go out with friends, go to restaurants, parks, running clubs, wine clubs. You know, you have it. There are so many classes out there these days. Find somebody that's doing something that you like to do. That's the most important. Get in the middle of the action. Okay. I want to get to Juju or Juji STX. 
Boy, these handles. Okay. Uh, when should you disclose past relationships or the reasons why you got divorced? Oh, um, you know, I always think a good a good answer to have on hand is we were no longer compatible if somebody asks. I don't think you have to dive into that right away, but I do think, you know, the truth is, is that you're sitting there for a significant amount of time with somebody, they're gonna, relationships are gonna come up no matter what. So you don't have to force the conversation, but I would not avoid it either. You just don't want to be the person that's sitting there that's brought your ex to the you know to the date or the dinner or the movie and you're talking about them the whole time but i wouldn't avoid that conversation maybe a second date to go into details all right thank you tamson it was so nice to talk to you nice got, to see you i know i got more questions for you so i might just send you an email but there are so many uh conversations that we could have thank you again you can find tamson online at tamsonfidel.com and on instagram at tamsonfidel uh, our anchor from our New York affiliate. We appreciate you, and we will be right back with more Morning in America.